guys, Jessie here. Welcome back to my channel, or if you're new here, welcome. For today's video, I'm gonna be using the expense tracker I filled out with you all in a previous video. And I'm gonna use this information to close out my paycheck budget for um, August paycheck number four. It was the week of August 20th through the 26th. It was a pretty decent week. I feel like I did a little bit of overspending in some categories, but overall, I think I came in under budget. Just looking at these numbers, it looks like, but let's go ahead and fill this in and find out, and then we'll see if we have extra money to stuff into our sinking funds. Before I get into that though, I do wanna apologize for the audio in this video. Um, Southeast Michigan, in fact, all of Michigan is under an extreme heat advisory. It's hot outside. It's supposed to get up to like 104 degrees. And so I'm not turning off my air conditioner. Usually I try to turn off my air for the majority of my videos just because I know it's loud. I try to mute out the sound in the background and that makes me kind of sound like I'm in a fishbowl, but I just got to do what I got to do. It's too hot to be turning the air conditioner off. So let's go ahead and check in. You are looking at my paycheck budget from paycheck number four. Um, I wrote this out with you guys last week and it was pretty run of the mill, easy peasy week. So for September's bills, I budgeted 700. If you look at my expense tracker here in blue, you can see that I did transfer $700 into our checking account for next month's bills. So that went just as planned and that's everything for this checking section, which I use for my fixed expenses. I got us a month ahead on our bills. And so each week I just transfer enough money so that by the end of August, I will have everything I need to pay September's bills. And then in September, I'll start saving for October's bills and so on. It's been working really great. I'm so happy that I did that. Got us a month ahead. Um, it's been working wonderful. Okay, so for our variable expenses down here, hopefully you guys can see, I've got all of my binders and everything stacked up, ready to go for my next video and they're kind of impeding my ability to push this up. But for groceries, I budgeted 250. We did go over budget. Groceries is always the place we go over budget, right? This is not a surprise to anyone. We budgeted 250. What we actually spent was 285.22. If you watched that um, expense tracking video, you know we had a soccer tournament that we provided snacks for the team for. Um, we also just did a bunch of grocery shopping as always, so that played a part in that. We came in under budget in eating out though. We spent $101.99 of the $150 that we budgeted, and we came in way under budget with our spending as well at $21.78. So I already have it added up here on my expense tracker, but I'm just gonna add it up again here just to double check my math. We spent $285.22 plus $101.99 plus $21.78 for a total of $408.99 in variable spending. And we budgeted $500. So we came in $91.01 under budget with our variable categories, which is amazing. That means we are gonna have some extra money to put to our savings challenges. So you can see here, we budgeted $200 for our savings challenges. I did transfer that in cash. That was 200 as expected. Because we have some money left over from our variable spending here, even though I didn't budget for it, I am gonna put $60 extra into our sinking funds. It's what I've been doing each week. If I have money left over, I put it towards that. Um, not all of it, but some of it to our short-term savings and that has been working out really well. So we're gonna keep on with that. There is a little gnat in here. So if you see it flying around, I apologize. Um, he's just trying to find some cool temperatures, I think. Okay, 260 is what we ended up putting towards our short-term savings, which feels Great. So now let's get some totals down here. So we started with 1500. That is, by the way, what I ended up budgeting this week. 
It's not all of our income. That's just the portion of our income that I budgeted for this paycheck budget. Um, we did 700 as expected in this checking section, in the cash envelope section, which isn't done in cash. I'm still using um, a paycheck budget worksheet that I designed back when I did use cash for my variable spending. I'm not anymore. I need to update this worksheet, but for now, I'm just using what I have. So the amount that I spent was $408.99. 260 in our sinking fund section. Nothing to extra debt. We are um, credit card debt free, which feels amazing. So now let's just do the math. We had 1500 minus 700 minus 408.99 minus 260. That leaves me with 13101. And I'm just going to put that into our buffer. Um, if I don't end up using this buffer throughout the month, if we don't end up overspending in a certain category or whatever, then I'll put this money into our long-term savings account. We do our sinking funds here for our short-term savings, things that we will be spending within a calendar year. Anything above and beyond that goes to our long-term savings for um, either larger expenses or things coming up longer than this calendar year. Okay, so that is that. It was a really great week. Variable spending, I'm pretty proud of us. We've been doing really well. Um, not necessarily sticking to our grocery budget. I think this is gonna always be where we struggle, but um, we came in under budget overall in variable. That left us extra money to put to our sinking funds, so I'm happy with that. Speaking of which, let's go ahead and pull that $60 cash and do my mini savings challenges. Okay, so I pulled in my cash. This should be $60. I got mostly ones and a few spicy fives. So let's go ahead and count this out. 5, 10, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, 22, 23, 24, 25, 26, 27, 28, 29, 30, 31, 32, 33, 34, 35, 36, 37, 38, 39, 40, 41, 42, 43, 44, 45, 46, 47, 48, 49, 50, 51, 52, 53, 54, 55, 56, 57, 58, 59, $60. So I have my cash. I'm just going to set this right here and I'm going to set up my mini savings challenges. So if you've not seen me do this before, this is your first video watching. Welcome. Thank you for being here. I like to use these mini savings challenges to um, give my extra money a job because it'd be really easy for me to stick the 60 bucks in my wallet and just blow it on like an extra meal out or coffee or, you know, whatever. Doing these fun mini savings challenges helps me allocate this money to savings instead. It's fun, so it doesn't seem super daunting. And um, I just like it. So I have my mini savings challenges here. They are just little challenges that I found either as freebies or on Etsy. We're gonna go over them really quickly and then I'm gonna start rolling. I use a dice and sort of do this randomizer style. Um, I do have my little dice tower here that I'm gonna need, which is falling apart. I need to like tape it or something. This is the one I bought from Amazon and I broke it, putting it together. Um, I really like it though, in terms of how it rolls. So I've been using this one. I've got my dice, I've got my cash. Um, you know what, let's just go ahead and roll the dice. I need to zoom out so you guys can see everything in frame. Um, we'll roll the dice, we'll do the randomizing, and then I'll go over all of the savings challenges, who they're from, where you can get them, when I'm stuffing and coloring and all of that. So the way that this works, I've got savings challenges, one through six. I've got my six-sided dice here. I'm going to roll the dice and whatever number it lands on, that is the challenge that's going to get the money and it, we're doing it two bills at a time. So I have mostly ones, like I said, I do have some spicy fives that I'm just gonna kind of mix in here randomly 
and whichever challenge gets the fives is the lucky winner this time. I am using all of this money, by the way, once I finish the challenge to stuff any of my sinking funds that needs a little extra money. So if I spent more this month, say in my clothing sinking fund, then maybe that money from that challenge will go to my clothing sinking fund. Just a way to help me um, have fun, stick to my budget, not spend the money needlessly. All right, let's get rolling. All right, we got number five. So number five is gonna get two. Um, I am not above cheating, by the way. If there's a challenge towards the end that's not gotten any cash, I may just slip the cash in there because I want everybody to get a little love. Okay, number six. Number five, I am filming this on Tuesday as I usually do. I'm gonna be wrapping up a lot of August things today. I've got a ton of filming to do. So this is just the first of many, many videos that I plan to film today. It's super hot here in Southeast Michigan, as I think I mentioned at the start of this video. Um, so it's hot. I'm trying to just get all this filming done as early as possible so that I can relax the rest of the day. Oh my gosh, one, five, and six is getting all of the money. See what I mean? Like, I definitely want four, two, and three to get some love. So if we get towards the end here and they haven't gotten any cash, I am not above cheating. Let's get a different dice. So that dice is, there we go. Now some of these other challenges might get some money. That's all I needed was a fresh knife. So what did you guys do this weekend? I would love to hear from you. Leave me a comment down below. Um, I'm really, you guys are seeing this on a Wednesday. So for you, the weekend is long over for me though. I'm just wrapping up since I'm filming ahead of time. Okay, look at this. We've got one, two, three, four, five, six bills left. Four hasn't gotten anything. So let's see if we can roll a four. Nope, that's a two. Ah, there we go. Some love for four. No cheating required. And the last two bills are going to five. All right, let's go ahead and get everything kind of straightened up. We will start coloring in these challenges. We'll see if we can finish any challenges today. All right, so starting over here with challenge number one, this is from Marlene over at Snow Gardener 307. It's a little color and save challenge. This particular challenge came on the back of her June little card from her channel membership. I am a channel member. I love her channel. I will have her linked down below as well as everyone else that I'm featuring in today's video. This challenge today did not get any fives, but it looks like it got quite a few ones. So we've got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. 10, 11, 12. We still got that funky one that we keep trading around. Um, I cannot wait to get that back in the bank and not have to look at it anymore because it's gross. All right, 12. So let's do three, six, seven, nine, 12. There we go. And let's see what we have total in this challenge so far. Hopefully we'll be able to finish it soon. I tried to pick smaller challenges for the most part with these so that they would be quick wins. So let's see, we've got 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, 22, 23, 24, 25, 26 dollars so far. This is a 40 dollar challenge. So we still have a ways to go with this one, but we are making progress. Alrighty. For challenge number two, this is from Kimmy over at Bayesian Girl Budgets. That's her YouTube channel. Her Etsy shop is Kimmy's Budgets. This, I can't remember if this was a freebie or if I purchased this from her shop. 
Um, she does have freebies though. Um, she has a Google Drive linked on her channel. I am a member of her channel as well. I really love her channel. I highly recommend you check it out. Let's see, we need four more to complete this challenge. And look, you guys, it got exactly $4. So that could not have been more perfect. Um, I'll just use this green and we will mark these off. And we finished another challenge. So I'm going to ring the bell for um, the ding, ding, ding challenge from Donna, powered by Creativity. I can never seem to get her channel name right, but I think that's it. Um, so I will be adding a dollar to her challenge. Essentially that challenge is um, saving money on top of saving money. Every time you finish a savings challenge, you add a dollar to the ding, ding, ding envelope. So this should have $40, 20, 30, 35, 36, 37, 38, 39, $40 there. Thank you, Kimmy, for helping me save this money. I'm so excited. I need to get this paper clipped. I'm going to put this aside for whatever of my sinking funds needs a little bit of extra cash. And I need to choose a new challenge to be number two moving forward. Okay, so I got my little paper clip here. I'm just going to set this aside. Wrote myself a little note to make sure to bring an extra dollar next time around for the ding, ding, ding challenge. And now I need a new savings challenge for number two. So I've got a bunch of these tucked here in the back of my binder. And let's see. So I have this little challenge here from Snow Gardener 307. I'm not sure where this came from. Oh, it was from her birthday. Um, so this is a little teeny tiny challenge. The balloons here are worth $5. The presents are worth two. So we got two, four, six, eight, 15. So what is that, 23? Let's make each of these little roll in saves a dollar. Do we wanna do that or do we wanna actually roll? Let's roll really quick. Mm, but let's do this little dice here. This dice only goes up to three. So that way that this challenge won't get too pricey. So we've got two. For that one, whoops. I don't know if you guys could see that, but that's a one, two, and three. Okay, so this challenge is all set and ready then for next week. I'm just gonna stick this in here. It's a little teeny tiny freebie, and that will be number two moving forward. All right. Let's move on to number three. This savings challenge is from Candy over at Stuff and Budget. That is her YouTube name. I believe that's her Etsy shop name as well. And this challenge this week got $4. So let's go ahead and color in some of these ones. One two, three, four. All right, so this is a total of a $28 challenge and it looks like we need eight more dollars to finish this. So we should have a total of 20 in here. Let's just count it up and see, 10, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20. All right. So maybe we'll be able to finish this one next week. Making good progress there. For my next challenge, this is challenge number four. This is the one that just got two lowly dollars. And it's a shame because this particular challenge is quite hefty. We're gonna save a total of 105 with this challenge but we may well be doing it $2 at a time. So that's fine if some of these take a little bit longer. Let's see what we've saved so far. 20, 30, 35, 
36, 37, 38 dollars. So still have quite a ways to go for this one. All right, number five here in my uh, minis is from Snow Gardener 307. You guys have heard me talk about her already. Um, by the way, I'm not sure if I mentioned this roll the dice savings challenge was from one frugal introvert. I bought this in a little bundle on Etsy. Um, it's a, supposed to be a fun roll the dice savings challenge where you roll the dice to figure out how much you save. And I kind of did in this video with the minis, not quite using this exactly how it was intended, but that's the great thing about savings challenges. You can do them any way you want. All right. So for this challenge, I just started this last week. Um, I actually had just a dollar left over from when I did my rolling last week. So I stuffed this in here to get this guy started. So we are pretty much starting fresh here with this one. And it got quite a bit of money. It got one of the spicy fives and a bunch of ones. Five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18 dollars. Two, four, six, eight, 10, 12, 14, 16, 17, 18. All right, let's get these colored in. We made a lot of progress on this guy today. Okay, well, I color like a third grader, but there we go. So we just need two, four, six, eight, nine, ten, eleven 10, 11 more dollars to finish this challenge. Some of these, like I said, go real quick. So let's see. We got five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen, nineteen dollars in this challenge. Woohoo. All right. One more to go. All right, and for number six, I've got one more challenge from One Frugal Introvert. This one is an $83 savings challenge. And it looks like this one got quite a bit of money as well. It got two of those spicy fives. I love sticking the fives in there just to randomly bless one of these little mini savings challenges. So this one today got five, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20. 20. All right. So we'll do three, six, nine, ten, two, four, six, eight, twenty. All right. So you can see. We still have a ways to go with this one, but we have a total in here now. 20, 30, 35, 40, 41, 42, 43, 44, 45, 46, 47, 48, 49, 50 dollars. So 33 more dollars until we can finish this one. Still the ways to go. Like I said, these ones from One Frugal Introvert are a little bit higher, but that's okay. So yeah, you guys, we finished a challenge today, which is so exciting. That will be able to go directly into my sinking funds since we are at the end of the month now. Um, you'll be seeing that sinking funds like true up video coming real soon. Let me get these back into my binder and I've got them all sorts of discombobulated. So let's put these in order. Four, three, two, one, five, six. Thank you so much for watching this video. If you like the way that I've been doing my videos lately with the budget closeout and then the mini challenges all in one video, let me know. I would love to hear some feedback from you. What do you do when you have extra money at the end of your budget? Whether you budget by paycheck or you budget by month or however you do it, what do you do with the extra money? 
Do you put it in savings? Do you treat yourself to a little something extra? I'd love to hear from you. Leave me a comment down below. Make sure you check out all of the links for all of the savings challenges featured in this video. Um, there's also lots of helpful links down below. You can get access to my channel membership if you would like to join for extra content and access to my budget worksheets. I would love to have you. Uh, my Etsy shop is linked down below as well. So check those links out. Thank you so much for watching. I will see you next time. Bye.